हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे एवरीबडी टुगेदर हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे राम हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे Krishna Krishna Hare Hare 
ಶ್ರೀಮತೆಸ್ವಾಮಿಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷಶೂನ್ಯವಾದೀ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯದೇಶತಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ the essence or true unity in diversity and one very important question will be answered uh, in this session today which is about hmm, if god is one then why there are so many different religions some of you might have had this question there are there is one class of religious people we keep a shika on the head hmm and uh, then there are others who keep a long beard and wear a topi hmm. then there are others who wear a white gown type of thing white dress hmm. and they have different symbol they have cross symbol hmm. so you may have a uh, wonder why there are so many different people in with different religious denominations hmm. and if god is one why can't there be a you know flat rule for everybody everybody should look like and everybody should worship alike and there should be only one common book for all religions why there should be such confusion you see in india we have army they have either green and green or khaki and khaki you see them isn't it you also see navy they have and you see air force air force they were white and white navy you see navy blue you call it isn't it so the uniforms are different and their march past style is also different their salutations to the prime minister of india that style is also different but all the three of them are actually defense forces working for the common nation india so they may externally appear to be <coughs> differently dressed different kind of customs they may have salutations they may have but they all are actually working for the protection of indian nation isn't it similarly you will also see although apparently different religious uh, denominations and the attires externally vary hmm, uh, all religions are teaching only one thing hmm, that there is one supreme huh, and we are our plural subordinates like i remember once i was in a uh, airport i went to the prayer room you know there was one muslim sitting and chanting namaz there was a christian chanting you know in his beads hail mary so i sat and chanted also in mala so don't you see similarity in us the three of us all three of us are chanting in our beads they have either glass 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 beads or i have a tulsi beads but all three had mala with us that's a similarity isn't it then after completing our mala all three of us bowed down while doing namaz they also bowed down after finishing my mala i also bowed down the christian also bowed down 
So vowing shows our submission to God. <laughs> is that not similar? All of them accepting a supreme uh, who is, uh, you know, creating this world, destroying this world, maintaining all living beings like a father. Is it not the same? So, in today's session you will see, although people have questions about why there are so many different religions, we will get the answer to this question today. These are the three main themes in today's session. Why so many religions and what is the correct understanding of God? And Srila Prabhupada, we will see a video about Srila Prabhupada also at the end. Although there are different religions, they all uh, talk about certain principles which are all similar in all religions. For example, every religion will tell you that you need a guru. You cannot learn the truth about God on your own. You need to learn from a spiritual master or a guru. You know, like for example, if you go to church, they have rabbi, abbot, bishop and all that. If you go to Sanatandarma temples, you have Guruji in the Gurukula, isn't it? If you go to um, mosques, you have Maulana or Mullah, as we say, isn't it? So there are teachers to teach. So the teacher teaches from the books, texts, so we learn from them. And who are those teachers? They are actually those who have sincerely practiced for several years and they have some experience of God and they have given up attraction for the filthy things of this world, especially things which are chased after by people for animalistic pleasures. They, they live an ideal life free from impurity. So then people go to them, sit down at their feet and listen to them, learn from them. That's there, this principle is there in every religion. Secondly, all religions talk about God who is all-loving. Like uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, God is a person whose love is like a love of a million mothers. You all have experienced the love of one mother, multiplied by a million. That's the kind of love God has. He is very forgiving. He is very generous. He is selfless. He actually takes, even if you do little service to Him, He magnifies it. And even if you, uh, while worshipping God, serving God, if you commit a mistake, he is ready to overlook it. So they all talk of an uh, all-forgiving God with oceanic good qualities. And all of them talk about obeying God's laws. And if we don't obey, then we invite suffering ourselves. Just like right now in Corona time, there is a repeated warning given in aeroplanes. Like I was coming in a plane. Uh, probably, you know, in that plane you can have 200 people. There were only 30 people. 30 or 40. Very few were traveling. Huh? And they were repeatedly warning, you should sanitize your hands and you should keep social distancing, you should wear the mask, you should wear the face shield. Not following this is a punishable offense and things like that. Why? If they are actually making this policy, is repeatedly announcing for our uh, safety and security. Similarly, God's laws are there uh, so that we don't hurt ourselves. Uh, by following these laws, we can lead a happy life. Huh? So therefore, one has to obey God's laws for our own good. And all religions talk about returning to God. For example, in Bible it is said, For God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son, that whomsoever may love him shouldn't perish but should have eternal life. That is John 3.16. So that talks about returning to God. In Quran also, there is a talk about spiritual world. I will show you some quotes where there is nectar, uh, water is like nectar, huh? life is joyful, there is no old age, there is no death. There is a talk even in Quran also. Hmm? Similarly, our Bhagavad Gita also talks in 15.6. You can see the 15th chapter, 6th verse, Bhagavad Gita. Many verses in Bhagavad Gita talk about that. If you read the 15th chapter, 1st verse, Urdva mulam adaha shakham ashvattam prahuravyayam chandam si yasya parnani yastam veda saveda ved uh, so it talks about spiritual world, uh, 15th chapter, Purushottam Yoga. Uh, all of them tell us, avoid sin. Uh, sin no more. Sin means disobedience to God. Don't disobey God. Don't invite the wrath of God. Don't trouble yourself. That means breaking the laws of God. Like for example, in examination you copy, uh, then it's a punishable offense. Isn't it? Or somebody is... Uh, 
becoming a uh, robber of a bank huh? or somebody is a murderer huh? so so all these people are punishable isn't it even in this world there is police to punish those who are not following the state laws huh? similarly those who don't follow god's laws they also invite punishment huh? therefore we are taught give up the uh, you know sinful activities that are prohibited god is very kind in he actually gives us allowance uh, in, in this world for example a man is allowed to marry a woman and live as a family man grihastha but he cannot catch another man's wife that's not allowed similarly a man is allowed to have a land cultivate the land and develop it that's perfect but one should not try to usurp another person's land like what duryodhana did so therefore there is a uh, virtue and there is sin difference is very clearly outlined in every religion now for example if you read uh, quran it says one should not have sex with mother's sister or one's own sister or mother's sister's daughter or father's sister like that almost 9 uh, or 10 names are mentioned with whom one should not have sex except one's own lawful wedded wife neither it says whereas in sanatan dharma the same thing is mentioned in a very simple fashion matravat paradareshu it says uh, which means you know uh, you one should treat every woman as a mother except one's own wife uh, one is allowed to marry a wife but other than one's wife you should treat every woman as a mother mm. so all religions say the same thing mm, if you see that <clears throat> yeah they all talk about the glory of holy name also mm. for example in bible Jesus Jesus says uh, oh lord thou art in heaven hallowed be thy name uh, he says let your holy names be chanted he also says that you know chant the name of thy lord with all thy heart with all thy might with all thy soul like that he says and uh, in the sanatan dharma also there is a lot of uh, verses talking about the chanting of uh, holy name nama sankirtanam yasya sarva papa pranashanam pranamo dukha shamana tam namami harim param this says that nama sankirtanam yasya sarva papa pranashanam if you chant nama sankirtan all your sinful reactions will be burnt away burnt out hmm? it says similarly by nama shruti jan nama shruti matrena puman bhavati nirmala your heart becomes cleansed by chanting of the holy name hmm? and one should chant uh, lord's names uh, daily you know? हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम कल कलो नास्तनास्तनास्तरण्य था चाटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम इज ओनली वे ओनली वे ओनली वे थ्री टाइम्स इट इज मेन्शन इन अवर स्क्रिप्चर्स सो एवरी रिलीजन टॉक्स अबाउट चाटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम लाइक वन वर्स कम्स टू मै माइंड फ्रॉम अवर गुरुग्रंथ साहेब गुरुग्रंथ साहेब इज सिखिजम सिख पीपल so they have uh, in that gurugan sahab i found one beautiful verse khojat khojat vicharyo das govind parayan avinashi kham chaho ji nanak sada sumiran narayan you know what he is saying khojat khojat vicharyo if you are searching and searching uh, uh, where is real happiness uh, where can i get real happiness uh, das govind parayana he is saying that by worshiping lord govinda by becoming a servant and becoming his worshiper avinashi kam chaho jinana ki saying if you want to go to the avinashi kam kam means the sky that spiritual sky which is uh, imperishable immortal if you want to go there nana uh, chaho jinana ki means guru nanak he is saying what is he saying sada Narayana, Narayana, always chant the holy name of Narayana. He is saying, "Huh? This is from the Guru Granth Sahib." So all the religions talk about the glory of the holy names and chanting the holy names of the Lord. Yeah, they all talk about yagya. Yagya means yagya by Vishnu, that which is pleasing to God is yagya. Hmm? Uh, we should act in a way pleasing to God, acting for His pleasure, and we should also renunciation of material pleasure. actually we should give up uh, those things in this world which uh, which may apparently give you some titillation huh? for example people think meat eating is titillating to the tongue but it is very sinful because we are killing our own younger brothers like goat and chicken and everything so we give up the renunciation of material pleasures huh? 
Similarly, somebody may think drinking or smoking is very enjoyable, momentarily. Mm-hmm. But one should throw away those things. Huh? No meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication, no illicit sex. Huh? One gives up all that. Renunciation of material pressure. And acting with the pressure of God means what? Rising early in the morning, chanting Hare Krishna on beads, reading Bhagavad Gita, going to the temple, bowing down to God, and treating every woman like a mother except one's wife, like I told you. Hmm? Respecting all God's creatures. Uh, treating that in every living body, a similar type of soul is residing. Uh, so whether it is a tree or a, uh, you know, a cow hmm, or a chicken or a fish, uh, in each body there is a Atma present. Seeing them as children of God and respecting them. Treating this whole universe like your family. Hmm? Treating all living beings as God's children. Vasudha yeva kutumbakam. Hmm? And that will please God. Hmm? Acting according to his order. Hmm? So, uh, sacrifice means uh, acting to please him. Hmm? So, these are all principles in every religion say, says these principles, you see. Uh, this is the beauty. Although the religions may superficially appear different, when you probe deeper, you see all of them actually talk of similar principles. Now I am quoting from different, different religions, you can see me, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, actually, in the name of secularism, modern man is trying to escape from you know, God and practice atheism. Hmm. This is totally unacceptable. You see, secularism is not atheism. Secularism means every religious person should get an opportunity to practice, you know, his devotion to God. You should give them opportunity. That is actually called secularism. You go to the meaning of secularism in the dictionary, what it means. Secularism is not supposed to be atheism. Hmm. Like there is one college in Pune called the Army Institute of Technology. Hmm. In that college they have a temple. It's a Sarva Dharma, uh, uh, Sarva Dharma Sthal, they call it. Hmm. So if you go there, there is one side the Christians can do their worship. Another side room, if you go, the Muslims can come and chant namaz there. And another place you go, those who are Sanatana, Sanatanis, Sanatana Dharma followers, they can worship, you know, the Lord uh, Krishna, Vishnu, they can worship there. So they have created a facility for the people. They have a books library. They can take the Bible, Quran, Bhagavad Gita and study. They can come and chant God's names. They can bow down to God. This is actually called secularism. Hmm? Secularism means giving people opportunity to worship God. Uh, uh, as per their study of the scriptures um, and their dharma, it's allowed. Huh? Ultimately, every jiva um, has the right to connect with God, open his heart to him, pray to him, bow down to him huh? and purify one's heart. That opportunity should be given and that is true secularism. Hmm? In America, when uh, uh, the Christians saw that the Darwin's theory is postulating a kind of uh, theory where evolution of living beings take place with, with no reference to God. Huh? So then the Christians did a lot of research. Huh? And uh, if you go to the internet, more than a thousand pages, you will get about Darwin's theory defeated huh? by them. And uh, the court case went on in church for uh, many long years. Finally, the church declared, uh, I mean, finally the court declared that the people fighting on the side of the church have won because they have given solid evidences that there are no links between one living form and another living form, like I showed you in the previous sessions. And many of those things I got from them. Huh? So finally they said, because the church has won, in all the schools and colleges in America, they can have morning gathering and they can have, you know, reading from Bible and they can have that kind of uh, gather, uh, worship for God program, but it is voluntary and it can be, it's optional for the schools and colleges to conduct, like that the court declared and left it. Huh? So now you see, ideally speaking, what should the court do? If Darwin's theory is disproved, that means we are not from coming from the apes, we are coming from Brahma. We are all Rishiputras. You know, we are not supposed to be, you know, descendants of monkeys or anybody. If that is proven, then is it not the duty of the court to tell that all the children should be brought to gathering and they should salute God? Uh, they didn't make that. And that is atheism, you see. Therefore, you find in the name of secularism, atheistic things are going on due to the man's mischievous nature. Mm. So here you see, for example, if you ask elementary school child, what is 2 minus 5? The child will say, oh, that is just not possible. How can I subtract a bigger number from a smaller number? He will ask you. <laughs> 
on the other hand if you go to high school you ask a child what is 2 minus 5 you will say minus 3 hmm. similarly when you go to college uh, or intermediate school uh, intermediate college then you know what is integral uh, you know uh, integral triple integral all that you can do uh, calculus you can do that and elementary school child can never understand what is calculus just as you see the mathematics is same but it is of higher and higher degree in the same manner you will see here in islam it is said all animals except pig and dog can be eaten after sacrifice so they call it as a qurban they call it qurban means what they say that if you want to eat an animal like say for example they want to eat a cow they have to purchase a cow say for example the cow is 80000 rupees for example they purchase a cow take it to the mosque and they have to cut some particular nerve in the body of the cow by which the cow will profusely bleed and when all the blood is gone the cow will lie down and go to sleep it will die it won't feel the pain they are able to release the blood from the body of the cow and make it die when it dies cut it clean it divide it into eight parts seven parts should be given in dan charity only one part can be taken by the buyer and that is called halal and if he doesn't give seven parts in charity it is called haram haram means sinful food halal means righteous food so that means quran also discourages eating animals why imagine seven out of eight you have to give away in charity how many fellows will buy a cow at 80000 and give away 70000 worth of flesh and he'll eat only 10000 who will do that tell me hmm? that means even in quran the killing of animals is not encouraged it's rather discouraged hmm. now here you see in christianity roman catholics take meat every day except friday actually it is supposed to be uh, in christianity uh, one one is allowed to take meat only on friday and not on other days now they have reversed it now huh? that means you can take every day except friday made it more convenient now huh? yeah that means they also have restriction huh? for eating meat some kind of you know holy period in which they should not take huh? they are restricting it and if you take sanatan dharma it it calls meat eating is a pillar of sinful life hmm? and true spiritual life cannot even begin if you don't show mercy towards all god's creatures that means it, it's completely banning the eating of meat and killing of innocent creatures uh, like the chicken and the goat and the fish and the cow and uh, all those things so now although three different religions are saying three different things you can see some similarity and the similarity is the principle of restriction of meat eating uh, that is the point there is a restriction in eating meat see the islam uh, the quran was spoken 1300 years ago by muhammad the prophet christianity was spoken the new testament was spoken by jesus and his followers they have written the books 2000 years ago buddhism is 2500 years ago bhagavad gita was spoken 5000 years ago and sanatan dharma you cannot put a date to it from the dawn of creation it has been coming down by the sound vibration in the guru parampara the beginning with lord brahma and then brahma giving it to the rishi satya rishis and then it is coming down and brahma giving it to narada narada to vyasa it's coming down the line from dawn of creation just as you cannot put a date to knowledge or wisdom in the same manner you cannot put a date to the vedas you can't say it has been coming down from the beginning of creation so there are more than 1 lakh lakh verses in the vedas so therefore you will also find sanatan dharma is like a supermarket of all religions we can say because i'll just show you in the sanatan dharma there are 33 crore devatas mentioned and one supreme god mentioned like here you will find yeah now i am making a comparison between sanatan dharma and islam you can see the comparison here see here we call as jiva they call it as ruh ruh means a soul we call it as spiritual substance you know spiritual they call it as mujarrad we call it as material is called as achit achit asat achit nirananda vishnu they call it as jism that means material mundane or material we call as mukta jeev means liberated soul they call as ruh mujarrad huh? like that they call 
కండిషన్ సోల్ బద్ద జీ దే కాల్ ఇట్ అస్ రూహ్ తర్కీవీ సే హియర్ యా అండ్ వీ కాల్ ఇంప్యూరిటీ ఇన్ అవర్ హార్ట్ కామక్రోద్ లోబ ఆల్ దట్ అస్ అ మల వీ కాల్ ఇట్ దే కాల్ ఇట్ అస్ మల ఫుట్ సిమిలర్ నేమ్ యు కెన్ సీ అండ్ స్పిరిచువల్ వరల్డ్ స్పిరిచువల్ స్కై వీ కాల్ ఇట్ అస్ పరవ్యోమ దే కాల్ ఇట్ అస్ అలమ్ అల్ మాషాల్ దట్స్ అ నేమ్ దే ఆల్సో టాక్ అబౌట్ అ స్పిరిచువల్ స్కై వీ కాల్ లవ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ అస్ ప్రేమ దే కాల్ ఇట్ అస్ అ ఇష్క్ we call our uh, lord as ishwar they call us khuda hmm. see soul is a eternal servant of krishna god jeeva swarupa krishna nitidas what they say ruh remains an eternal servitor banda of god khuda yeah that means always servant so we can see the similarities uh, i have shown here between sanatan dharma and islam hmm. similar words are there only that the urdu words may be different huh? but the meaning is the same there is god there is jivatma there is surrender to god going back to god serving god eternally everything is similar actually here is a meeting between kazi and one devotee huh? he is asking what you refer as jiva we call as ru uh, so he is explaining the same thing uh, it's a conversation actually shil bhakti vinod thakur in our sampradaya he has presented the similarity between islam and సనాతన ధర్మ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫ్రమ్ కురాన్ ఎవ్రీ సోల్ విల్ హ్యావ్ టు విల్ హ్యావ్ ద టేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ డెత్ ద లైఫ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ వర్ల్డ్ ఇస్ బట్ అ కంఫర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇల్యూజన్ ఇట్ సైజ్ బట్ దెన్ దోస్ హూ కీప్ దట్ డ్యూటీ టు దర్ లాడ్ ఫార్ దెమ్ ఆర్ గార్డెన్స్ అండర్ నీత్ విచ్ రివర్స్ ఫ్లో వేర్ ఇన్ దే విల్ బీ సేఫ్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ దట్ మీన్స్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద స్పిరిచువల్ వరల్డ్ హ్యాపీ స్పిరిచువల్ వరల్డ్ వేర్ దర్ ఆర్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ రివర్స్ ఫ్లోయింగ్ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ గార్డెన్స్ like that this is by quran it's from quran similarly we have made a comparison of sanatan dharma and christianity comparison now actually there are many pastimes leelas uh, similar for example you may be aware of uh, adam and eve huh? in christianity you know adam is a man eve is the lady god tells them that you should not go to that garden of eden and do not especially go near the tree of knowledge and never touch the fruit in the tree of knowledge which is called forbidden fruit so they both say okay but then eve the lady in the absence of her husband one day is tempted by satan the satan is a snake the snake comes and says eve why didn't you go to that garden why didn't you pluck that fruit forbidden fruit and eat it she says but god told us not to do the satan says god is telling you you know why if you eat that fruit you will become very knowledgeable and you will become better than god therefore god is afraid that you will become better than him therefore he is telling you not to eat i am telling you you go and eat it so the satan tempted her so she went to the garden she plucked the fruit and ate half of it and then he adam came he saw her what she did and he he said my lord we have broken god's law then he also ate it then god appeared and god appeared they both were actually practically nude at the time they didn't wear any dress but the moment god came immediately they started feeling shy after eating the fruit they started covering their body with you know leaves and grasses and everything because they became bodily conscious earlier they were only like pure spirit soul now they became bodily conscious so god told them that you have sinned you committed sin so this story which comes and then he gives a punishment all the women will have to do pregnancy they will suffer the nine months pain in their uh, womb and all the men will have to work very hard to earn their livelihood uh-huh. so those two punishments were given so now this story comes in bible in the same manner you see in our puranas also there is a story of manu and shraddha and shraddha's another name is havyavati the havyavati is same as eve uh-huh. and that past time comes when after one pralaya kal gets over next uh, satya yuga comes at that time the story comes there in puranas also uh-huh. it's very similar story so similarly you will find noah and the ark in christianity same story you will find in shrimad bhagavatam you will find matsya avatar uh, and the satyavrat muni it's very similar noah and the ark actually is a big ship in which the lord is saving all the uh, you know good souls same past time matsya avatar also so you can see similarities between sanatan dharma and christianity see here from bhagavad gita lord krishna says 
न तद्भाषयते सूर्यो न शशाको न पावक यद्वार निवर्तंते तद्धाम परम मम मडियर अर्जुन दैट अबाउट ऑफ माइंड इज नॉट इल्यूमिन इल्यूमिन बाय सन ऑफ मून एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ही सेज इफ इफ यू गो देयर यू विल नेवर कम बैक टू दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड आल्सो ही सेज दैट दैट एवरीबॉडीज बॉडी इज सेल्फ एफिलिएंट ही सेज सो दिस इज टोल्ड बाय कृष्णा टू अर्जुन लेट अस सी व्हाट जीसस सेज हियर इन बाइबल ऑफ कोर्स इज अनदर स्वेत स्वेत उपनिषद आल्सो सेम थिंग इट सेज जीसस सेज हियर एंड देयर शैल बी नो नाइट देयर and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the lord god giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever and that is from bible we can see the quote similar thing similarly in um, brahma samhita brahma says chanta mani pragara satma sukalpa vriksha laksha vrateshu surabhi rabi palayantam लक्ष्मी सहस्रशत संभ्रम से व्यमान गोविंदमादिपुरुषम तम हम भजा द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड हेज अज अ ग्रउंड विच हेज सैंड लाइक अ साफ्ट गोलडन पउडर एंड द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड हेज मेनी मैंशन मैंशन मीन बिग पैलेस मेड ऑफ सॉलिड गोल्ड प्राक्टिकली चिंतामणि प्रकर सदम सुकल्प वृक्ष एंड देर आर डिजे ट्रीज विच कैन गिव यू एनी फ्रूट ऑफ युअर चॉइस you go to the tree and say apple it will give you apple you go and ask for mango it will give you mango in this world trees can give you only one particular fruit that one tree can give you multiple fruits and multiple flowers also and the cows can give you unlimited supply of milk and uh, any time of the day all day any quantity also and then there are thousands of lakshmis or gopis who are eternally serving the lord they are devout pure devotees so now He, there i was thinking that brahma samhita brahma talks about this chintamani pakara sadmasu means the buildings mansions in bible also jesus says my father's abode has many mansions he says in bible brahma says lord krishna's abode has many mansions and in bible jesus says my father's abode has many mansions same thing is said you can see the match like that and krishna says here in bhagavad gita now i shall declare unto you this knowledge in full material and spiritual he says whereas when jesus said he said there is much more that i have to tell you but you cannot bear it now he says to his followers because he felt that they were not yet qualified to receive the complete knowledge so he gives partial knowledge otherwise if he gives complete knowledge they will run away so he gives what they can take that much he gives so therefore different religions they give the same message you can see that but what is one thing that is different is the depth of the verifiable and inconceivable information in the vedas is far greater i will show you how for example bible says god said let there be light and there was light and that's how the sun came god said let there be earth and there was earth like that it says whereas in sanatan dharma it doesn't say it so simply if you read the sankhya it says first there was sound om you know sound in the ether so from that sound in the ether uh, came air for example if you make you clap the hands they produce a sound but air is released from the uh, from the clapping of the hands by the by this isn't it similarly from the sound came the air from the air came the fire from the fire came the water from water came the earth in this way the from the subtlest element is sound or ether from that all the other elements have come and then how the shabda sparsha rasa rupa gandha you know all these things are in earth but if you go to one subtler level it will have one item reduced and higher level one item you will find like this so therefore the explanation in sankhya is very thoroughly done if you want to study more if you are interested in this third canto of shrimad bhagavatam gives it very elaborately in the in the beginning there is pradhan from that mahatatva comes and the mahatatva the prakriti comes if you see in the prakriti how the five gnanendriyas five karmendriyas are created how the buddhi in the man and they are created how the sense objects are created how the interactions all of these 24 elements happen very vividly the arrival of the sun and the earth and all are very deeply explained in the shrimad bhagavatam it doesn't just say let there be light and there is there was sun it's not like that huh? how they were derived gradually how the elements came 
how how the original elements came that is explained actually in the shrimad bhagavatam hmm? it explains the creation in very greatest detail yeah yeah many religions may say god is great god is love god is almighty <laughs> but they don't tell you how god is the greatest person hmm? yeah for example how god is the greatest person he has created millions of universes huh? he is called as andanta andantarasta paramanu che antarastam he creates million universes from his own bodily pores as mahavishnu and then he enters into each of those universe and within one universe he creates millions of atoms and he enters into each and every one of the atoms and he creates 8.4 million species like all of our bodies 8.4 million type of species and he enters into the heart of every living being and standing by the side of the soul in this way he is omnipotent omnipresent omniscient this detailed knowledge is given how god is great you just don't say god is just great he is the creator he is the maintainer he is the destroyer he is a supreme from whom everything emanates such a definition of god and when we talk about how god is love bible certainly says god is love he has great love for his creatures but how that is not explained in detail but in in our scriptures is explained for example lord krishna is god when he is dwaraka dish king of dwaraka you know sudama his dear friend gurukul dey's friend he goes there huh, to meet krishna how krishna came running to the entrance of uh, the palace and he embraced his friend cried tears of affection for his friend took him inside the palace made him sit washed his feet fed him a big plate of prasad you know and talked about the gurukul dey's how god is very loving huh, to his devotees Uh, how god protects his devotees in the past time of uh, draupadi uh, you know how when she was about to be disrobed in the public krishna gave her unlimited sari how god is the protector how god is all loving uh, how god is powerful mighty if he wants he can even change our destiny uh, how arjuna was supposed to be uh, entering fire on evening because he couldn't kill jayadrath but krishna blocked the sun Uh, and it became dark and jayadrath came out and krishna told arjuna to hit him uh, arjuna hit him and fin- jayadrath was finished everybody was shouting what happened then krishna removed the chakra from the sun and sun was again shining so he changed the destiny of arjuna uh, so if god wishes he can even change your destiny uh, he can do miracles so uh, therefore how god is great has to be explained uh, you will find in mahabharata ramayana and shrimad bhagavatam there are innumerable leelas that lord performs mm-hmm. that he shows like he opens his mouth and shows the entire universe in his belly uh, or to arjuna in the 11th chapter of bhagavad gita he shows the vishrup darshan millions of heads and millions of hands and legs uh. so god's greatness is not theoretical it is practical mm-hmm. explain similarly mm, yeah therefore you have a pocket dictionary but you also have a you know, chambers dictionary like you see yeah so there are many religions which give you a little information in a pocket dictionary there are small small words you can find out but the chambers dictionary is like the vedas where it is exhaustive information your one life is not enough to read the vedas there are vedas have so much vast information as i told you so therefore the sanatan dharma uh is is like a supermarket of all religions and everything is within it for example you have heard of brahma you heard of ganesh you heard of saraswati lakshmi right now i'll show you something interesting for you uh, you can see this one see japanese names for some huh? not coming screen mind okay i'll show you just a minute Yeah, I can see now. Okay, you can see now. See here, Sea God Varuna in Indian name. In Japanese name, it is Sweeten. And here, King of Gods Indra is called Tashikuten. God of Success Ganesha is called Shoten. God of Wealth Kuvera is called Bishamon. God of Strength Saraswati is called Benten. So, Sri Lakshmi is called Kijijoten, Kishoten. Mahesh Shiva is called Dako Daikoku. the great black one and vishwakarma is called vishukatsuma huh? see these names and here are the pictures see ganesha they worship like this see he looks very similar to our ganesh ji in india is it not 
See, in Japan, if you go to Japanese temple, you will see Shoten. <laughs> see here. Yeah, they all have a seed mantra. That is the first letter of their original Sanskrit name. You see? Yeah. See here, Maheshwar. Mahakala. They have like, they also have Shiva there, Maheshwar. See here, Brahma, no? Saraswati. So they also have bent in the call. See, Bishaman is Vaishravana, Kuvera. They also have Kuvera's Murti also. Huh? See, Lakshmi. They also have Goddess of Fortune, Kiji Jyotain. She has a wish granting jewel in the left hand. See Lakshmi, she is having a left hand jewel for satisfying the wishes. Brahma, they also have a three, I mean four headed uh, 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 Brahma, Bon Ten. This is the Murti they have. And four Lokapala, see Kubera, Yama, Indra, Varuna. All of them, they have same names, this Bishamon, Zo, Chotain, uh, Indra is called Dhritarashtra, Jiko, Kutain, they have this, different names like that. See Indra, they also have Indra coming in an elephant. Hmm. See here, Indra. They have this Muti in Japanese temple, you see. They have exactly Indra coming in the Airavat elephant. Yeah. Virudaka and all this. Yama also. They also have Yama also. Varuna. So same, you know, the names are slightly different. See, Karura, they call Garuda as Karura. See here. Actually, guys, there is a Garuda Airlines in Indonesia also. Huh? But this is Japanese one. Vishwakarma. So, see, they also do Yajna. <clears throat> see, traditional fire ceremony, they are also celebrating. You don't think only in India we are doing yajna. Huh? In Japanese dharma also they have yajna. See, a yeah, gomado is a small smoky shrine where sacred fire is prepared in an ancient round heart. Yeah. They also do this kind of havan. Huh? So, they have a big bell in the temple also. See, this is all done by Japanese research. They have done, you see here. Huh? This is all from doctorate research. People have conducted research to see the religion in different parts of the world. Okay, I can show the PPT now. Okay. It's coming? PPT is coming? So, therefore I told you, Chambers Dictionary, you show it? Yeah. So I told you Japanese, in the same manner you can also compare in other places. So, Till now we discussed about different religions. So some of you may have a question about, hmm, if you say there are similarities in religion, but they all are talking, appearing to be talking of different, different God also. Somebody is calling Allah, somebody is calling you know, Christ, we are calling Krishna. So about that will be clarified now. If you see, a simple definition of God is this. Janma adhyasayaton vayati taratashcharteisha vignyasvarat. That's Srimad Bhagavatam, first verse. If anybody asks you, your friends ask you, who is God? You can say, God is one from whom everything emanates. That's the definition of God. God is the source of everything. Everything you see, you didn't create, I didn't create. He has created it. And He is God. That's the first definition. In the Bible, Jesus, what He says about Himself? For whomsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Our Father... The what in heaven, hallowed be the name, Jesus said. He never said, I am the God. He said, actually, God is in the heaven and I am actually his son. Repeatedly, Jesus claimed to be son of God. And in Quran, let us see what Muhammad says. He calls himself prophet of God. I am the messenger of Allah, he says. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah, the seal of the prophets, like that it says. So, Muhammad is a prophet. Jesus is the son of God, but in, Bhag- in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, Lord Krishna declares himself to be God. Uh, he says that, Aham sarvasya prabhavo matta sarvam pravartate 
ಇತಿ ಮತ್ವಾ ಭಜನತೆ ಮಾಂ ಬುಧಾ ಭಾವ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಐಮೆನೇಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಐಮೆನೇಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ ದೋಸ್ ಹು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಮೀ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಬಿ ಗಾಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಮತ್ತ ಪರತರಂ ನ ಅನ್ಯತ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಲಾಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ ಬೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ನೈಲಾನ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ನೈಲಾನ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಪುಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಮೈ ಎನರ್ಜೀಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಅವೇ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರೆ ಮಣಿಗಣ ಇವ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ರೀ ಸೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಾಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೂವ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಹಿ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೋಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಟು ಹಿ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಲ್ ಇ ಟು ಮದರ್ ಯಶೋಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಶೋಡ್ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೈನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀಕ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಾಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀಕ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ದ್ಯಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಕಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಹವ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ yeah so proper in one dialogue said this mm-hmm. our father when he says that father is none other than krishna he is talking about krishna only mm-hmm. so different religions may call god by different names but they are all ultimately glorifying his innumerable qualities huh? like for example uh, allah means all my and uh, almighty mm-hmm. you know like jehova mm-hmm. uh, so all powerful similarly christ all attractive uh-huh. similarly vahe guru how they got the name vahe guru va means vasudev ha is hari ga is govinda uh, ra is rama they combined these four names called vahe guru you can ask any sikh will tell you uh-huh. you can ask so in this way sun may be called by different names uh-huh. you can call the sun as ravi or dinakar or bhaskar or suraj or surya so many names you can call isn't it similarly water also you call different names i am from tamil nadu we call it tannir huh? in uh, in andhra pradesh here they call it as neeru i think isn't it yeah if you go to maharashtra they will call it pinyachapani they will call it huh? isn't it so in uh, sanskrit you call it jalam huh? the words may be different but substance is same huh? same way you know god is one but he may be called by different names in different religions the person is same only huh? one more important thing i want to tell you muslims uh, have a group called as ismailis mm-hmm. ismailis actually accept krishna as an incarnation of allah uh-huh. you can ask any ismailis group they they accept krishna as their master lord there is another group of muslims called as uh, bori muslims uh-huh. these bori muslims wear a, a topi which is a golden uh, color they have in this you will find so these bori muslims have tulasi in their house every day they water tulasi huh? so therefore you will find the ripe muslims those who become very mature in muslim islam they become the sufis and whom are the sufis worshiping they are worshiping rama and krishna huh? rahim ke dohe if you read he is glorifying ram huh? similarly the other sufis they worship krishna huh? so the culmination of islam ultimately leads one to krishna ultimately in fact muslims themselves say god has totally 100 names and 99 names are revealed to us in quran and in quran it is said the 100th name will be revealed when we reach the spiritual world they say and the 100th name is krishna huh? which will be revealed to them if they don't become
in glorification of god so some christians got uh, shocked what is he writing like a cinema song eh? but he actually was adapting the mood of a gopi eh? like gopi is worshiping krishna eh? that's the mood he attained by his very advanced uh, maturity in samadhi eh? which means all the religions ultimately come to the point of understanding the personality of god uh, but if you ask the early christians uh, not so mature christians if you see the bible last page they have put a picture of you know hand hand drawing of god sitting on a throne telling all the people come here tell me your account how much sin you have committed and here is punishment for you so they call it as a day of judgment that means they are not talking of the ultimate god they are talking of yamaraj that's all yeah? yamaraj is the one who is punisher of the evil but beyond yamaraj there is god krishna who is actually the embodiment of love he simply plays on his flute he is a sportive god he is a playful god he is a naughty god who steals butter from the homes of the gopis and he has lot of leelas with covered boys so actually god is not just a generator operator destroyer that's a very very preliminary understanding of god like you see we'll see here now i'll show you he creates maintains destroys okay but that is not the ultimate thing there is a spiritual world beyond huh? uh, where uh, the supreme god krishna he enjoys loving leelas with his devotees eternally huh? yeah but most people think that god means you know he is a uh, avoider of punishment huh? he is like you know he is sitting behind the clouds and hurling down thunderbolts they think like that that is a very cheap understanding of god huh? but actual real understanding of god is an embodiment of love in the spiritual world he simply exchanges love from his devotees and uh, see there are four platforms of worship uh, initially people like if i ask any of you why are you studying so well uh, like once i met a group of 800 students i asked them why do you study so hard one fellow said nahi to pitaji pitai karenge otherwise my father will beat me up he said out of fear he is studying not a very great platform you see similarly in religion also some religions uh, say that uh, repent or burn huh? otherwise god will punish you so they frighten the people to surrender to god that's a, not a great motivator hmm? but better than that is people go to god for some greed for some sukha sampatti gar aave you know people say that oh god please give me sukha please give me wealth give me give me somebody goes to god and say oh god please oh hanuman maruti give me a maruti car huh? like that they ask for some gift from god when they go huh? oh god pass me in the exam oh, please oh god give me a job oh god give me promotion so these kind of people are desire huh? but better than them are those who are duty bound they say all the devatas pray to supreme god oh, thank you god oh lord vishnu for providing us everything huh? praying out of gratitude but the highest platform is pure love huh? so fear desire duty love or we can call it as fear greed gratitude and love we can say hmm? so love is the highest platform we have discussed about it before also hmm? genuine love pure love hmm? and therefore our training programs actually are oriented towards attaining that pure love hmm? so shil prabhupad when he went to america he told the americans uh, my dear boys and girls we are not a bread seeking religion hmm? like you know when i was studying in my convent days i was studying in a convent school so they would we would sing a song in the morning oh lord hallowed be thy name give us our daily bread like we would pray huh? so prabhu said we are not a bread seeking religion prabhu said we are a bread giving religion yashoda is calling krishna beta come here and she is giving him bread and butter she is not asking hey kana please give me my bread and butter <laughs> we don't ask anything from god rather we wish to give god huh? he said that is our our religion prabhu said so shil prabhu really brought about a revolution in the lives of the western people who were thrilled by this understanding of god in pure love huh? actually that rama uh, and and his son, uh, servant hanuman had such a pure love huh? you know hanuman was ready to lay down his life huh, for the sake of finding sita and giving information to ram huh? hanuman you know after all the uh, episode was over in rama's patabishekam huh? when rama was sitting in the prasad hall he wanted hanuman to sit next to him hanuman refused huh? 
how can i sit next to you my lord you are my master huh? so i will sit on the opposite side bow down to you i i would like to see you eat huh? you will find the, the relationship of hanuma uh, i mean rama and lakshman huh? the relationship of ram and bharat huh? there is so much sweet relationship ram is telling bharat you become the king bharat is telling ram oh brother you become the king so there's a loving competition so in the spiritual world prabhupada explained the jivas are all pure by nature they're non envious they are always eager to serve the lord with love so here i'm going to show you a, sh- a small movie clip and conclude the talk and then i'll take questions this is about the shil prabhupad sound is coming Transatlantic voyage experiencing two heart attacks on his 38 days aboard This embodiment of India's sacred teachings set out alone with an impossible wish to spark a revolution of the individual heart to fill it with purpose in a world of uncertainty with joy in times of difficulty on an international scale this gift was the teachings of bhagavad gita as it is as it has been practiced for millennia as it is along with its original vedic krishna conscious culture by his character and his compassion Srila Prabhupada's systematic and scientific presentation of Krishna consciousness penetrated the very hearts of all those who heard him in America in uh, September 1965 uh, uh, my mission is to preach uh, the philosophy of Lord Chaitanya chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And within a mere three years of his arrival, a genuinely international society, ISKCON, manifested globally inspiring teachings of Indian, A, arts, such as painting, music, instruments and exhibitions. B, books, particularly his magnum opus, the literary and intellectual jewel, Srimad Bhagavatam. C, cuisine, the entire suite of exotic Indian vegetarian preparations, mastered by generations of cooks and enthusiastically embraced by boys and girls over the standard cow flesh, alcohol, drugs, coffee, tea, and even the onion and garlic. D, dressing, men with dhoti kurta, women in saris, all with tilak. E, etiquettes, respect to elders, the saintly, and to God. F, following the cultural pathway, Sanskriti, for example, introducing the sanctity of Vedic marriage with all its duty and its commitment. G, a God-centric program establishing a personal relationship with the Lord in the form of exquisite deity worship, performed communally with Kirtan, distribution of Mahaprasad, and worship. H, a healthy lifestyle with regulation such as rising early in the morning and pure habits such as bathing upon rising. I, Indian ethics, establishing the value from scriptures such as Ramayana and Mahabharata, of a life filled with perseverance, tolerance and humility over personal appearance, education and wealth. J, 
jolly dancing in kirtans to worship the Lord. Srila Prabhupada's teachings were centered on the essence of India's wisdom, that the constant chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, or as he called it, the great chant for deliverance, was capable of revolutionizing the world. He who kindly become Krishna conscious and chant and dance in ecstasy emotional love of God, the whole world will follow you and it will be Vaikuntha, there will be no more trouble. Thank you very much. His gifts to India included three major centers of culture and education in 1. Bombay, the economic capital of India. 2. Vrindavan, India's foremost place of worship. And three, Sridham Mayapur, ISKCON's international headquarters. Srila Prabhupada's unprecedented achievements have created an imperishable legacy. Their magnitude is understood only in terms of how the world has changed since his arrival on Western shores. Indians are now valued not only for their technical competence, but also for their character their holistic culture, and their loving devotion to the Lord. Today, his students form a body of world-class spiritual leaders to carry on Srila Prabhupada's mission of compassion. Truly, India has regained its position as a genuine beacon of light for the entire world, for generations to come, especially with the construction of the Temple of Vedic Planetarium. Hare Krishna. So you saw about Srila Prabhupada. Uh-huh. Srila Prabhupada actually, when he was a young boy, I mean, uh, uh, he met his spiritual master in Calcutta. At that time he was a Gandhian. Srila Prabhupada was studying in Scottish college. Uh-huh. And uh, when he met his guru in 1922, uh-huh. at that time Prabhupada's age was about 26 or so. Uh-huh. So he was telling his guru that I want to see India get freedom first so that then the Vedic knowledge can be taken by the whole world from India. His guru told, no, no, you know, today British are ruling, before that Mughals were ruling and then somebody else will be ruling always. The spiritual knowledge of Bhagavad Gita cannot wait. It's an emergency now. His guru said, immediately we should take it all around the world. And his guru said, even if India or any other country for that matter makes a doctorate, but after achieving doctorate also, they want to produce bomb and drop it in the neighborhood country. And the neighborhood country will produce their doctorates to produce bomb and drop it in this country. That's what their education has taught them, to kill one another, and not to save one another. Rather, if you take to Krishna consciousness, Krishna consciousness teaches you to respect even a tiny ant, what to speak of the humans. You, can, you don't want to kill even an ant also. That is the kind of respect because every living being is a child of God. So his Guru said, this knowledge is such a pure knowledge, sublime knowledge. And devotee of the Lord is the most harmless species in the world. Because they know God is watching our activities. So they will not speak or do anything that will displease God. So he said, if you have spread this culture across the globe, that can bring about peace, health, happiness. It can bring about... uh, uh, control of the people's mind and senses in a way that they can actually lead a happy life in this world. And then ultimately attain the goal of life to go back to God. So he was touched by this uh, explanation of his guru. And then uh, in 1933 he took initiation from him. Subsequently he was a family man. He had five sons also. And eventually those sons grew up and got settled in jobs and everything. In 1965 he left India. Uh, at that time, Prabhupada's age was 69, close to 70. Huh? He went to America in a cargo ship, which was actually meant for luggage uh, ship. He got a couple of heart attacks on the way. He tolerated it. And when he reached the shores of America, nobody was known to him. Huh? He really struggled hard in the first year. Subsequently, when no help was arriving from any quarters, he really became completely frustrated. He thought that now I will simply depend on God. He went to a park. 
with his kartals and started singing hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so he sang and then many many boys girls joined along with their instruments and that's how the movement began can you imagine a old man from india going to america and just sitting in a park and chant- chanting even today the tree is there in new york if you go and from there he started the movement he wrote more than 100 books he established more than 108 temples and he wrote more than 4 5000 letters uh, to the managers and leaders at that time which are even now acting as the basis for the managers so he really not only created a facility a movement but he created a legacy that could be continued now yeah all over the world there are more than 800 temples uh, his followers have established and now uh, more than 60 crore spiritual literature have been distributed propas books uh, so you can see the good work that he has been doing and whatever i am speaking is all from his books i just extracted it and uh, some students helped me to uh, put it up in the form of a powerpoint uh, so i had uh, prepared this book discover yourself uh, way back in 95 1995 and i had a powerpoint at that time gradually we evolved the powerpoint to make it more simpler for all of you and i especially want to thank this team you can show this and this is the team of uh, devotees who helped uh, me in making the and uh, this thing raja krishna prabhu pankaj go prabhu antadip prabhu dabal krishna prabhu raj gopinath prabhu priya gopesh prabhu raspat prabhu uma shankar prabhu hmm they all actually spent hours and hours in making the structure and flow and everything uh, put it up putting it up all very nicely and slides uh, the earlier ppt prepared was prepared by karuna gauranga prabhu and uh, dabal krishna prabhu is the one who is the master my mind behind most of this ppts which you saw and oshraman also did the previous one and video subtitles were made by saurabh yadav and dayalu nitai prabhu i thank all this devotees team who helped us to put up this course so this course actually Uh, made it very lucid for all of you to understand and appreciate the uh, philosophy of bhagavad gita in a very easy manner in a scientific manner in a systematic manner and, uh, and this is not the end uh, i can only say this is only a beginning in your life where you got the quintessence of the gita knowledge uh, there is one course that is following this course called as uh, gita for all made easy i will tell request antadip prabhu to uh also tell you about the course and also he will introduce you a few mentors who can actually guide you for the further sessions and i'll request antadip prabhu to take over the dais now yeah antadip prabhu for giving all this uh, nine sessions and sharing the valuable wisdom of the gita in such a succinct manner very precise manner so that we can understand and very scientifically logically as shri prabhu presented and uh, prabhu took out his time despite all busy engagements we are very grateful to him so further we would like to also serve all the students who took part in it and we are very uh, grateful to all of you to enthusiastically take part you have all taken part for all the sessions and uh, i could see many questions very brilliant questions coming so we can uh, understand that all of you are very spiritually inquisitive students so further going we have actually a course based on the gita designed by rajeshwar guru the game course gita for all made easy i just shared the screen so this is first course is called the positive thinker course and this has uh, several uh, sessions but we take it over a weekly module and some in our modules we try to keep a camp also if possible of students if not possible a camp then we continue in a weekly module so this course i will just send you on the chat the doc, this document which you are seeing and, and not only uh, this weekly program will help you to further uh, deepen your wisdom of the gita it will also help you to practically apply it you will also along with the uh, lectures you will get a mentor a personal mentor uh, in where, wherever you are staying in the, in the city we have different places uh, different mentors and we will be allotting you a mentor best suited to your local place so that you can take personal guidance to apply the teachings of the gita in your personal life 
and that will make you a very substantial practitioner of the Gita. And you will see changes in your life to blossom like we saw so many wonderful people with the benefit, many big people in this world, like we saw Amrish, Alfred Ford and all many others have taken benefit of the Gita because they practically applied it, they can see the difference in their lives. So you will also get to see that. So this mentor allotment will do. For that, we want you to fill one feedback form also. Uh, there is a feedback form we are just sending it in the chat. So you can fill that and then uh, you can also take benefit of the further course. In the feedback form itself, we will ask you the suitable days for you so that we can best uh, tune in our further programs for you. So please fill the feedback form before leaving. And, and I can take some questions on the diploma. Last quiz. I can take some yes, questions please. after this. Uh, just, just one. After the question answer, we request all the students to please uh, fill the last quiz, the quiz uh, session for this session. And after that, in the next uh, two, three days, we will be actually publishing the e-certificate for all of you and sending you on your email IDs, your device and discover yourself session certificate. So with this, we'd like to now begin the, uh, the questions. So first question, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. How is it? How is it decided in which religion we will be born? Oh, actually, uh, different uh, uh, people are at different levels of evolution of understanding of God. Huh? Like I told you, elementary school maths or high school maths or college maths, depending on how evolved you are, accordingly in that religion you are born. For example, the Quran was spoken to uh, tribals in the desert. Huh? So, Muhammad says there that because in desert you don't get any vegetables, you can eat meat, he says. But wherever you get vegetables and fruits, you should not eat meat. If you read Quran, you will get it. There is a mention, there is one statement which talks about that. Hmm. So, similarly, when Jesus spoke uh, knowledge to his people, there were many of them were fishermen, like Peter, for example. Hmm. So, according to the level of the people, whatever they could absorb, digest, that much he gave. Because if he gave something too high, they would, it would have led to rejection. Hmm? So, depending on uh, how evolved you, there are five stages. Annamaya, Pranamaya, Manomaya, Vijnanamaya, Anandamaya stage. Huh? These are all higher and higher levels of evolution of spiritual consciousness. Huh? Like I told you, fear, desire, duty, love. If somebody is on a fear platform, he may be born in certain religion. Uh, somebody is on a desire or duty platform, then he's gradually evolved to higher and higher. So, now you all have understood some of the finest principles of religion, if you apply it in your life, and then you'll be born in a place where you will continue to practice love for Krishna, love for Sita Ram or Radha Krishna, Lakshmi Narayan, because you, if you understand this knowledge well and you apply it in your life, then you will continue what you have left. Wherever you are left, from there you will continue the next life. Yeah, thank you. Next one. Is Sanatan Dharma and Hindu Dharma the same? Sanatan Dharma and? Hindu, Hindu Dharma. Yeah, actually why I didn't use the word Hindu? Actually, the Sanatan Dharma followers lived in the bank of a, a river called Sindhu. Huh? So the Af Afghanist people, the Muslims, they used to call them as Sindhu people. Sindhu people became Hindu gradually. The word Hindu is not found in Vedic literature. Nowhere you will find. Only the word Sanatanist or Sanatana Dharma is found there. But these people named them as Hindu, like that. Uh, they are same only, yeah, correct. But actually, when people say Hindu, Garva say, Kaho hum Hindu hain, people think Hindu means you have to be born in India and uh, you know, you are, uh, you belong to this tract of land, they think. But what we teach is actually universal. It's actually love of God. Anybody from any background can join our uh, classes. There are Christians who come to our classes, Muslims come to our classes, Hindus come to our classes. Uh, Sheikhs come to our classes worldwide. Whoever can appreciate the philosophy of love of God. Even Srila Prabhupada said, if they want to learn from us and go back and practice Christianity well or Quran well, they can do that because we teach people the pure message of love, loving God and not going to God for material benefits. God, give me, give me, give me, give me. We don't go for that. We go for purely loving Him. Like a, I told you, mother's love for a child is pure. Huh? Love. So that type of love for God, that is, is our main teaching. So we have people from all, all over the world, we have people who follow this path. Next. 
is egg non veg or veg yeah egg is naturally non veg why because egg will hatch and chicken will come out and that means there is living form inside now therefore it is non veg actually there is one egg called as ahinsa egg they call it huh? which doesn't hatch at all so some boys say can't we eat that but ahinsa egg also is actually made of the menstrual fluid of a hen it's very impure completely impure uh, menstrual fluid although it doesn't hatch it's not pure yeah next is milk veg or non veg oh actually um, whenever we have to eat or drink anything we refer to the scriptures the scriptures say that the brahmanas who perform the yagyas the veda vedas teach them that they should drink milk and they also should uh, uh, convert the milk into dahi or curd and then into butter and then into ghee which they offer in the yagya sacrifices so the cow was maintained by the brahmanas and the milk uh, uh, is not supposed to be drunk fully by the calf if calf drinks all the milk it will get disease the calf is supposed to drink only 1/4 of the portion balanced portion should be taken away and that is meant for the human beings god has arranged it like that so cow's milk is actually pure some people called vegans they think we should not drink cow's milk because cows are being tortured nowadays and slaughtered so uh, that doesn't mean shastra say don't uh, drink the milk what we do is we have a policy also in our temple we only drink milk from those cows which are maintained by good farmers and they will never send their cow to slaughter house they have given a promise to us only from them we take milk huh? so cow's milk is important to drink because if you drink cow's milk then you get uh, brain nourished and then with your nourished brain sh- uh, shastras like bhagavad gita bhagavatam be easy to understand and you will be very brisk also all day very enthusiastic if you drink cow's milk if you drink buffalo milk you will become very fat your body will become fat but buddhi will not become strong huh? so cow's milk uh, can make our intelligence very sharp yeah next can you please tell who re- who has written quran oh the puranas are all recorded by veda vyasa who is a literary incarnation of lord vishnu 5000 years ago he appeared uh, before that the puranas were all coming down like agastya is one of the sapta rishis you know he is narrating it to one rishi like that it is coming down but 5000 years ago veda vyasa at the beginning of kali yuga saw the people in kali yuga are very very forgetful even uh, na, you know mobile number they need to note down they can't remember so therefore he put it all down in writing puranas next can you provide some information on the group about darwin's theory not being true or make a specific video on darwin's theory because in our school we can say the real truth that we are not coming from monkeys we have come from god i i don't know whether this devotee attended the previous session i showed a video 1911 pilldown man found out 1952 dismissed you know and the 1973 this was evident 1979 dismissed do you remember that i showed one such video i think this devotee was not present at that time i think probably he missed that session you can refer to him. which was the session at the depot it was the yeah, that was on manual of life ah uh, man, fourth one manual of life uh, so i would suggest this student to go to the manual of life we have not only shown video i gave many examples about how darwin says bear turned into whale huh? and how the giraffe became long necked and all that we had a elaborate discussion i may request him to go through that next rigved is written by vedyas but samved yajurved atharved is not written by him how come we accept others as vedas no vedavyas vedavyas gave only one veda only but then he called his students and allotted four students to do the division of the vedic literature why because it will be easy for the people to for example samaveda contains all the poetry huh? uh, and the yajurveda contains all the recitation like that so he divided the vedas into four and gave students to compile but they were all done under the guidance of vedavyas only yeah next sorry uh what should we do if a doctor advises us to eat meat for a certain period of time to develop our physical condition actually sometimes doctors will tell you that you are very weak bodied so you need to become strong so you eat meat so there are other substitutes to meat like for example soya beans 
uh, one can take soya beans, one can take channa. There are many items which taste like meat also, which actually have a lot of calorific value, even the vegetarian items, which can be substituted for meat. It's not that you have to eat only meat. For that matter, even elephant is not a non-vegetarian. Elephant is a, a vegetarian. But look at the elephant. Is he not sturdy and strong? Huh? Without even eating meat, how strong the elephant is? Why can't you be strong? Huh? Yeah, next. Uh, isn't Krishna's beauty as the deity a material attraction? And how can such great power as that of the Supreme God be conquered in a small deity? Good question. Very brilliant question. Actually, because all the creation has come from God, He can manifest if He wants through the deity form. For example, say, I am, if I am Prime Minister of India, for example, I am printing the currency note and I am also printing the newspaper. Paper is same, but in one paper I am printing the newspaper, which you may read and throw it in the raddi. In another paper I am printing currency note, same paper, but you keep it in the pocket very carefully because I have authorized it as currency note. In the same manner, you know, the temple may be made of marble on the floor, but the deity is also made of marble. But this deity is authorized in the scriptures by the Pranapatishta process. It is a three-day, four-day program, very elaborate program, how the deities are, uh, the Lord is welcomed by a pure devotee to come and descend in the deity form and accept our worship. And Krishna says that in the scriptures, that if a, if a devotee invites me to become the deity and accept the seva by my bhaktas, I accept it. Yeah. He says that in the scriptures, and that's called pranapadishta. And the deity is not made in any other form other than what is prescribed in the scriptures. Venum panantam aravinda dalayataksham Varhavatam samajitam buddha sundarangam Kandarpa koti kamaniya vishesha shobham Govindam adi purusham tamaham bhajami Brahma says this, that Lord Krishna, how does he look like? He has a peacock feather on his head. He has curly locks of hair. He has a threefold bending form. There is one bend in the neck like this. Another bend in the hip, another bend in the leg. And that's the way the murti is exactly made. Hmm? And Lord says that I can manifest through this deity form if I wish. For example, Lord Narsimha comes from a pillar. You know, the pillar broke open and out came Lord Narsimha. Hmm? So if Lord can come from a pillar, can't he come from a murti form if he wants? Hmm? He can come from anywhere he wishes. Because everything is his creation only. Hmm? Like for example, you have electricity. You put the electricity into the fan, the fan is rotating. You put electricity into your fridge, the electricity is cooling. The thing inside, water inside makes ice out of it. You put the electricity inside a bulb, it is making the bulb glow. That means electricity can enter into any of these items and make them behave differently, is it not? Similarly, God can actually manifest through any of the, his material energy or spiritual energy because both are created by Him. You are I didn't create them. So if God says, I want to come through this murti, I can come. For example, God says that all over the world, wherever there are murtis, if you, if anybody comes to worship me, those murtis, I am in the spiritual world. Through these murtis, I will accept their worship. Huh? Just like, for example, government says that I, we will put post boxes everywhere in the city. Whoever puts any letter in the post box, we will collect it and send it to the respective address. They do that, correct, no? In the same manner, if God says, anybody worshipping me, any of these murtis, I will accept their worship and I will reward them. Hmm? If God makes that principle, is it difficult for him? You know, we people are sitting in one room and controlling crores of mobiles. You know, who has paid the fee, who has not paid the fee and all that. If we can control crores of mobiles, can God control crores of deities in all the universes? So he can accept and reciprocate with his devotees. And God says that. Actually, you may think it is a small form in a particular temple, but you will see that the deities have exhibited very great powers. You will read uh, later on uh, in another uh, future class we will talk about it. How the deity of God can actually speak to the devotee. Hmm? The devotee can speak to the Lord and get answers to his questions. Hmm? For that you need uh, advancement. Hmm? Like if I give Bhagavad Gita to a donkey, he can't read it. He will only eat the do- donkey, just eat the do- paper of Bhagavad Gita, that's all. Hmm? If I give it to a printing press owner, he will only see this is 120 GSM paper, you know, and the Times New Roman font, that's all he can see. He doesn't know anything beyond that. 
Huh? If I give it to some politician, he may take the Bhagavad Gita and keep it in his home and put some flowers, that's all. Huh? But if I give it to some intelligent boy who is actually inquiring about, you know, God and goal of life, he will read the Bhagavad Gita and he will become enlightened and he will purify his heart and go back to God. Huh? Bhagavad Gita is same, but different people perceive it differently. Hmm? Similarly, the Murti form is same, depending on your elevation and your advancement in spiritual life, the deity will reciprocate with you. And we have experience of that. There is a Jada Buddhi, there is a Manomaya Buddhi, there is a Chinmaya Buddhi. You come to Chinmaya Buddhi stage, then you can understand what a deity is. Huh? Yeah. Yes, one last question I can take, Antadhi Prabhu. And then I'll do a short Because, question. Yeah? because there are a couple of, just, there are three, four questions, but time is eight o'clock. Can I send the quiz link to all the students and then uh, Achha, those are questions? Are, are there are many more questions? Today? Three, four questions. Three, four. Three, four. We can, we can complete them. Today is the last day. We can take a little longer. Huh? Yeah. What is that? Yes. Yeah. So the next question is, uh, this is a little longer question, but uh, telling it in a succinct manner. So yeah. there are, you are saying one is a small dictionary, another is a big dictionary, but yeah. there are contradictions also. So dictionary should not contradict for no. example yeah, you have to say reincarnation example. is condemned in islam and christianity but supported in islam no no which is which is condemned reincarnation okay uh, i'll tell you the reason behind it so there was a king called constantinople and this constantinople had a wife who had seven paramours huh? paramours means illicit connection she had with seven other men so one day one church father was reading the bible and he was quoting about reincarnation where he said that those who commit adultery are illicit connection and in the next life they'll be punished. So immediately the queen became angry. She told her husband that tell them to remove these sections wherever it is talking about reincarnation. And these are all recorded. It's available. Records are available. And at that time, and also Constantinople also told his wife, yes, you are right. Because of this reincarnation, people will become lazy thinking that I will become God conscious in future life. So let us remove this portion. So he called all the church fathers and so he said that henceforth these, these portions, wherever there is reincarnation mentioned, should be removed. So this is one thing. But even though they removed, there are still sections of Bible I can show you. For example, when Jesus spoke, he said, yeah, Elias has truly reappeared as John the Herald, like the Bible Jesus said. Then all disciples asked, what? Elias has reappeared as John? Do you mean to say that Elias again entered into his mother's womb and again he was reborn? Jesus said, no, no, no. Those who have the ears to hear can hear. Like that he said. So what he exactly meant was Elias died and he reappeared as John in another body and which is, which is reincarnation. So this is... And this way we can show even some traces of reincarnation and information in Bible even today. My request to all of his students, whenever you have such questions and all, first of all, equip yourself with knowledge first. Before you can pose any challenging question, there are so many books on reincarnation, you should study them first. Chaitanya Charan has written one book. What's the name of the book? Demystifying Reincarnation. Demystifying Reincarnation by Chaitanya Charan Read that book. Similarly, Stephen Rosen has written another book on reincarnation. There is so much information about reincarnation in Quran, reincarnation in Bible. You should read with quotes and evidences. You will see that. If somebody tells you there is no reincarnation in Bible, that means he is ignorant, he is not aware. So you can read such books and challenge them. Yeah. Yes, next. Puji, the same sequence he has asked. That Christians and Muslims, uh, they have an impersonalistic understanding of God, but Correct. we don't. Correct. They have both, just like in Hinduism also, there is Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattvam Yadjnana Madhvayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Shadyate There are three levels of understanding of God. One is Brahman means impersonal understanding. Paramatma means there is a form of God in our heart. And Bhagavan means Krishna. Similarly, in Islam also, there are impersonal worshippers who go to mosque, there is no murti. They just sit and do namaz. That is impersonal worshippers. But in Quran you will find for Abraham, Lord Allah, he came and gave him darshan. It is mentioned. There is waj, means the face of Allah. Ainun, means the eyes of Allah. And then there is also uh, the lotus feet of Allah. 
mentioned here. How can a person have eyes, face and lotus feet and he is not a person? It's all mentioned in Quran. I have quoted in our uh, lessons. Uh, in one of our future lessons is God is personal and impersonal. We have quoted those things uh, from Quran. God actually appeared in a form to Abraham. Uh, so therefore God, for, for bhaktas, God, God shows his form. And for those who are impersonalists, he will appear like a, Moses saw the bright fire light, fire like light. He will appear like only like, because they don't believe in his personal form, he appears like a light for them. Uh, so God is like, for example, sun. Sun has a form. Sun also has a bright light. So somebody may, like a train, if you see, in the night time, if you see, you see only the bright light. But when the train comes closer, you see the train has an engine. Train has many bogies. Train has many people. Similarly, God appears like a bright light from a distance for jnanis. But when you become bhakta, you know, oh, God has a spiritual world. There are so many bhaktas and so many activities going on. You come closer, then you understand. Next. Sir, does Ayurveda knowledge come from God, Dhanvantri? Yeah, correct. Ayurveda actually is from Atharva Veda. Yeah, that, that, the Dhanvantri actually is the uh, lord of medicine and he brings that Amrita Kalash also he brings. Yeah, you are right. Yes, thank you. Sir, what is the difference between Avatar and Messenger? Avatar and? Messenger. 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 Okay, okay. Actually, avatar means uh, avatar, one who descends, we call it. So, God himself descends as avatar. Many avataras he may come. Uh, as explained, Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narshinga, they are all avataras. But the, say, uh, but the messengers of God, they are actually sons of God or devotees of God. They are not God. They are subordinate to God. But they teach about God. Hmm? And they help people reach God. They are called messengers of God. Hmm? Yeah. They always claim themselves to be servant of God. They will never say, I am God. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, please. Now I can uh, do a little Kirtan? Yes, please. Five minutes Kirtan I'll do. And then we'll conclude the session. Um, I am I myself, uh, I am based in Pune. In Pune we have a big temple at Katraj Kondwa. New Vedic Cultural Center. Uh, it's one temple. It's in Kathraj Kandua, opposite to Shatunajay temple, uh, in the outskirts of Pune. There is one more temple in Pune, in Pune camp, uh, at the end of MG Road. Uh, so, I come to that temple also. In a month, two weeks, I stay in Pune, first two weeks. Third week, I go to Hyderabad. And the fourth week, I travel to different parts of, 14 different parts of India, like Bangalore, and, uh, you know, Kanpur, and Calcutta, and Darwad, and, you know, different different places I travel like that. So, uh, any of you, down, because of the COVID situation, everyone is in lockdown now, but uh, once our temples are more open, I would welcome you all to come to Pune, uh, take Darshan of Shishi Radha Vandavan Chandra, very beautiful. Uh, you can show this Radha Vandavan Chandra from my computer, you can show this. You can. Uh, this is Radha Vandavan Chandra, at, uh, residing at uh, our temple in New Vedic Cultural Center, Pune. And uh, first two weeks I'll be there. Sometime if any of you are coming, I'll get to meet you. And also I will request every one of you to take up a mentor who will guide you weekly. Huh? Uh, weekly programs they do. And also on phone they'll be available for you like an elder brother. Uh, any question you have, they'll be able to answer you and help you out. out huh? And you will get very nice guidance. You all are getting guidance for education, mundane material education to earn a degree in this world. Of course, degree is essential for you to fetch a job and earn your livelihood. But you also need a spiritual mentor to guide you and escort you like a compass in an ocean. If you have a compass in a boat, you can easily reach the shores. So they will guide you well. And the, uh, I had designed this first course, Discover Yourself, and subsequently game course, which is Gita for All Made Easy, Positive Thinker course, we call it. So you will actually become a positive thinker if you attend that course. It will last for a few months, three, four months. So you are welcome to join uh, the course and uh, by registering yourself. Now I am going to do Kirtan a few minutes and uh, we will conclude with this Kirtan today. And I really thank you all from my heart for your enthusiasm, enthusiastic participation. Many people across the globe are very much uh, morose because of the COVID, uh, because they can't come out of their houses and there is always a threat of Corona. Uh, fear that any time the virus will enter my system and it is knocking down youngsters and old people, all kinds of people are dying everywhere. 
so there is a kind of phobia everywhere but all of you students you are really intelligent you took out your precious time and uh, joined these classes and understood the spiritual subject matter very nicely and i deeply appreciate your uh, uh, initiative in coming and joining this programs and may the lord bless you and uh, in all your earnest endeavors and uh, and also you you not only know understand this knowledge but you apply it and you attain all perfection in your life you can take the kartal we will sing hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare everybody hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama ram ram hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama ram ram hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama krishna krishna hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna krishna 
संकीर्तन की अंत पति वैष्णव वृंद की श्रील प्रभुपाद की सो थैंक यू आल वेरी मच एंड आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सीइंग ऑल ऑफ यू पर्सनली समटाइम इधर इन पुणे और इन हैदराबाद इन द टाइम टू कम आई वांट टू सी एंड अप्रिशिएट यू वन ऑन वन पर्सनली समटाइम यू आर ग्रेट एंथुजियाजम इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी and this actually comes after many many lifetimes lord krishna says in bhagavad gita one out of 1000 youths may be interested in spirituality and out of those who are interested in spirituality thousands out of thousands of them only one of them can understand him manushyanam sahasreshu kaschit yatati siddhaye yatatam api siddhanam kaschin maam vetti tatvatah krishna says this so therefore when i see all of you i i feel a great appreciation and great uh, respect because you have taken interest in coming for this classes and uh, taking part enthusiastically and i pray that you all become blessed souls fortunate souls and whatever in- interest has come in your life right now uh, that interest actually is coming co- continuation from your previous life you have done 40% in the previous life now uh, you are starting from 41% now huh? and in case you do 90 then you will continue from 91 or in this very life you can complete 100% perfect your life and go back to god so continue whatever you have started now good work continue that every day have a habit of chanting hari krishna one or two rounds regularly read bhagavad gita as it is and stay in touch with your mentors and take further guidance all the best thank you hari krishna okay.